welcome to a new adventure with Will and James. Yay, take Bay on trips. We are at the Botanic Gardens of Denver. This morning when we were researching Denver and the things to do, it was ranked number one on TripAdvisor, so we figured we gotta go if it's number one. But I'm really excited. We can walk, let's go. Let's go to the Botanic Gardens. the Gardens. You're here. I'm trying to read this map. Oh, it's really big. Let's go in here. Right now we are in the Tropical Conservatory, climbing up this tree. I feel like I'm in Ecuador all over again. When I was walking through the jungle with my mom in Ecuador, and she'd be like, oh, look at that leaf. Look at that flower. <laughs> if we oh were here God. with Sally right now, it'd be this an leaf interesting is so experience. Big. <laughs> this is what the world should look like. We shouldn't have destroyed things. That was me. beautiful. Yeah, so deep, so insightful. What are you doing, Queen? Running to the garden. They have this really cool flower. It's called the corpse flower, which is known because when it blooms, it smells like rotting meat, which is used to attract bugs and stuff, which is kind of gross. This flower took 13 years to bloom. It's a 13 year old plant. The dead plant is here, that brown plant right there, right there. Amorphalus titanum. Say it again. It's a morphophallus titan. He sounds so smart. It's 10 feet tall, which means it's the biggest of all the flowering plants in the world. It bloomed on August 19th, so we missed it by three months. And for the second bloom, it takes about seven to 10 years. So we might have to come back. That's crazy. That is crazy. These look like that Pokemon. Victory Bell, I choose you. <laughs> Yeah, I went to Japan, and this is actually kind of what it looks like. It's probably the most peaceful area in the Botanic Gardens, I think. The cactus house was closed. I'm really sad because I wanted to see some succulents. I wanted to see some succulents. I'm right here. Wow, you look can operate like Harry Potter. He's wearing my shirt. I think we're kind of at a disadvantage for coming in November because most things are dead. They're not dead, they're just <laughs> changing. It's still quite beautiful. Salvia. Isn't that a drug? It's the round doorway. These are known in Chinese gardens as the moon gates. Virtually whichever side you're on, or however you walk through, the image on the other side is always framed. It's a work of poetry. Let's go through. This is the moon gate, and the circle represents the full moon, and it also means happiness. It's poetic. We're tinging, which in Chinese gardens that we're learning is this is a ting, which is like a holler pavilion for people as they're you know passing by to stop. Stop what you're doing, stop in your path, take a break, and enjoy the scenery around you. And ting literally translates to pause. So we're just kind of pausing. Please tell me that this looks like the sound of music, doesn't I it? I am 16 going on 17. <laughs> you are 16 going on 17, baby, it's time to dream. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. 
Welcome to Will and James Try and Pronounce Scientific Plant Names Alium Christophi Limonium Platophylla Merubian Rotundophobe <laughs> Polygonum Implexiquale Palictotrichon Semperferans Salfatrosbrutal Ceratostigma Plumbuginoids Jovibarba Hephalai Simpervivum Hey hey Pharoneuron Tricopolipus Artemisia Tridentata Jamesia Americana. Thanks for playing Scientific Plant Names with Will and James. The Denver Botanic Gardens are obviously well known for their diverse and beautiful gardens, but behind the scenes there's a lot going on that we learned about. There's botanists and horticulturists conducting research on the plants which is important because it's the key to understanding the health of our environment. Plants are so beneficial for life on Earth that it's really important to know what they can do and how they can help right. the Earth continue to be the Earth. It's an educational opportunity because now we're learning and discovering more about our environment and how to like preserve it. Yeah, which we should be doing all the time. The Botanic Gardens are absolutely stunning and beautiful. And if you're in Denver, you should make a trip out here. And this is probably the biggest and the best one I've ever been to. You should definitely check it I agree. Out. I don't really go to a lot of Botanic Gardens when I visit cities, but it's totally worth your while because it's beautiful and it's, it's gorgeous. Peaceful. The time has come for us to leave the Botanic Garden. We're hungry, obviously. So we want to keep up with the Denver culture and figure out what there is to eat and things we must try before we leave tomorrow. Things that are native to, to the, the city. city of Denver. So we're gonna do some research really quick, figure Denver it out. Bitch ain't gonna have McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do some research really quick, figure it out, and get some good eats. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to follow us on all of our adventures together. Take Bay on trips. And we did so much more stuff in Denver that is also on my channel. Go ahead and head over that way and see all of our other things that we've done in the city. But we will see you next time. Take Bay on trips. Bye.